Okay, we're back live here at VMworld 2012. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE, with my co-host Dave Vellante with Wikibon.org. Uh, we're joining Craig Nunes, the vice president of HP Storage Marketing, a uh, longtime alum of uh, theCUBE. You've been on theCUBE so many times I can't count, like you're <laughs> rivaling Pat Gelsinger in terms of number of appearances. I think <laughs> Pat's at <laughs> seven. Nice. You're, I think, seven. This might be your eighth. You might overtake him. Um, you're a regular. Great to see you. Um, obviously, at Hewlett Packard, we all know um, HP. Uh, a lot of management changes have happened. Meg Whitman's turned the company around. You guys are taking your medicine. Um, a lot of people talking about the open source of WebOS, a lot of other things, the tablet. But you're in the group of HP that's actually performing well. Um, the storage, um, networking and compute, the old ESSN, 3Com was part of that acquisition. You guys are really doing well uh, performance-wise. More importantly, you came from 3PAR, which was recently called out in the HP earnings uh, call as a real highlight of the future of HP. So, so, so congratulations. Thanks, and, bro. Uh, but I want to ask you about this modern era that we're talking about, this uh, data infrastructure, which builds on a lot of the converged infrastructure work, and converged infrastructure has been going back for years. Mm -hmm. You guys were really the first tier one vendor to actually implement a converged organization with networking, storage, yeah. and compute kind of collapsed together. Uh, but now we heard new applications, new experiences, mobile with SSD. Um, you were at a startup that you know, pioneered thin provisioning, so you know this modern era, now you're at HP. Can you comment on where you see this modern era uh, of, uh, of tech? Obviously, it's steroids free, no more cloud washing, no more doping. Um, this modern era of the future of the data center. What's your take on that? Um, yeah, so, so, the, so Converge Infrastructure's an evolution, right? And when it was first kind of you know, called out and put in place in, in kind of a visible way uh, uh, in the HP lineup, you know, I think a lot of folks at the time were still trying to figure out, mm, you know, uh, uh, understood, but um, you know, the picture wasn't entirely clear, right? And we spent the last couple of years, you know, making that much more uh, visible that direction. And if you look around here at this show, if you look at the, uh, let's let's talk about uh, SSDs. You were talking about that on your last segment. If you look at what flash and solid state technology is doing to storage and to uh, server infrastructure, how can it not be converged, right? It's, um, it, if it's uh, not, you're going to wind up living in the uh, silos that dog you today, less efficient, no flexibility, over provisioning to solve your problems. It, it's not how the, the, the data center is going to evolve, yeah? So, so Dave, what's your take on, you've seen the historical view and you saw the three par, you were the first one that I met in the industry that actually pointed out the whole three par as a killer uh, linchpin in the whole equation prior to the even acquisition. Um, what do you think about HP relative to the uh, converged infrastructure and data infrastructure transition that we're seeing? Well, so I, I think that, um, well first of all, the story at HP is the, the old is declining and the new is skyrocketing, right? Three pars was growing to triple digits, I think yep. you're, your growth is slowing, you're down to 60% growth annually. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> you're right there with Fusion I.O. <laughs> um, so, so that's good, right? Yep. I mean, obviously 3PAR, I mean, when, when HP acquired 3PAR, I think it was what, 200 million in revenue? That's right. So by my like estimate, yep. these aren't your numbers, you're tracking probably toward, maybe even over 600 million now. You're close to triple what you were, I know you can't comment, but. I but cannot you, comment. But you're growing very <laughs> nicely, I mean, I think you could you agree with that. Um, and so that's point. the big story. You got you sort of EVA and transition and, and three-part rocketing. That's why yeah. Yeah. You know, Donatelli was so excited about it. We had Donatelli in the yeah. cube. So I think that my take, my point of view, and I wonder if you could comment, is data infrastructure, for the last five, seven years, we've been focusing on doing more with less, um, you know, taking cost out, increasing utilization. That's you know, a big part of what three-part did. Right. Converged infrastructure is part of that theme. And Absolutely. that's got to happen. Yeah. That's like, yeah. But that's becoming table stakes. And then, as we were talking off camera, the next step is you got to really get agile, so you got to put in processes to increase agility. And then it's all about, okay, how do I really drive incremental business value? And that's where this whole new flash trend right. starts yeah. to come in. So I wonder if you could share with us your point of view on that on, perspective. So uh, I'll give you a, a couple of things. First, we, we kind of see um, converge infrastructure broadly as, um, you know, bringing server storage, networking, and management technologies together in, in kind of one, one building block, right, instead of multiple separate pieces. And the idea is things like virtualization, flash, cloud, are all fueling that uh, convergence. And part of what we've been driving in storage is this idea of a 
uh, of converged storage. Uh, converged storage really is focusing on a couple of design centers there. One is, um, you know, the, uh, uh, what I'd kind of view as sort of converged utility storage, serving the multi-tenant requirements in this virtualized environment. A lot of unpredictability that is um, um, got to be handled as you drive a you know, more converged infrastructure. In the old days, you would silo everything to manage your SLAs. Converged infrastructure, no silos. You need that uh, utility focus. The other uh, aspect, and I think it, it uh, um, uh, goes hand in glove with a lot of uh, what's going on here at the show and an announcement we had a couple of weeks ago, um, converged virtual storage, which really drives storage right into the application, right um, uh, on the same you know, sheet metal of the server. And we talk, um, uh, talked a couple of weeks ago about our store virtual, virtual storage appliance. This is basically software running in a VM right next to your application VM. Right, that is converged infrastructure. That is uh, the convergence folks are looking for. And you know, from management perspective, storage server network, all in one box, great agility handles the uh, uh, efficiency that folks are looking for in, uh, uh, in this kind of new era. Well, Herod kind of talked about that today. He said, we've done a great job with compute and memory. We, we've, I mean, I remember 2009, you know, where we were with pre, kind of pre-VAAI. Yeah. VAAI yeah. helped a lot with storage. We're still not completely there, but certainly better, much better off than we were. And then, of course, networking and security yeah. as, a, as a ways to go. But, uh, but 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 VSA is an example of what he was talking about, right? right. Bringing right virtualization yeah. actually to the storage, which is your culture, I and mean, that's what three par is all about. What do you make of? Uh, did you hear Gelsinger this morning? Uh, clips. So yeah. basically, one of the things he said was, "I'm." You know, we're seeing, you know, your your serious competitor now is becoming your partner, right? <laughs> and he said, uh, "You know, I worked with a lot of you guys when I was at." Intel, and I'm really excited to be back working with you. And of course, I'm thinking HP, Dell, you know, IBM, right? All these companies that you know have been competing <laughs> with the MC. So, what's your take on this? I mean, how do you you know how do you look at that whole transition? Yeah. So, um, yeah. I mean, VMware as a partner for HP. Um, you know, the I think the the fundamental thing we're looking for is that continued sort of partner momentum that's allowing us to drive. You know, the top server platform for VMware. Uh, you know, we are a, a development platform for VMware in, in a variety of ways. You know, it's a great partnership. I'm sure Pat's got a, you know, a, a great agenda for, um, uh, for VMware. But I think, you know, as I was uh, driving up this morning from Mountain View, I thought, you know, VMworld, it, it's a storage show. <laughs> Am I right? It's a storage show. And it's, uh, you know, it, uh, I, I think it's not a bad thing to continue to drive great, you know, storage knowledge uh, into virtualization. And, you know, frankly, I think a lot of folks are here to figure out the storage equation. It's not right out there, right? Well, it's interesting, actually, they have that CEO roundtable. You yep. know, you got, you got a bunch of storage guys on there, you know. I was hoping right. Donatelli would be there, but he's <laughs> probably flying around the world somewhere. No doubt. <laughs> but uh, how about the announcement of uh, the end of VRAM pricing? That was the, the audience. Was, that was probably the, the biggest, uh, mm -hmm. maybe the second biggest, they, they big claps for yeah. Moritz. Yeah. Uh, but that one was more than, as John calls it, more than golf claps. Um, <laughs> yeah, the right. end of VRAM pricing. Yeah. What, is, what, do you take, what do you make of that? What does that mean for you guys? How yeah, do you VRAM capitalize on that? VRAM um, pricing you know, is kind of the, the new Coke, right? It didn't go over very, <laughs> very flop, well yeah. for, uh, <laughs> for uh, the customer base. And I think, first of all, I think it's, uh, you know, it's good for you know, VMware to give, give their customers what they're after. And, and, the, um, and you know, we are, being a great partner, we are uh, there to help them out. And we've uh, been um, uh, working hand in glove with VMware on a fantastic program built around HP's three-part storage called the Get Virtual Guarantee. And part of, part of what folks go into virtualization and find is that the, you know, the cost to you know, scale out their virtualization environments can, can crush you if you're not careful. And what, what we've told folks is, look, don't worry. With the right kind of modern storage, like 3PAR, you are going to be able to double the number of VMs you host on a given server. So you can get twice as much out of your server infrastructure. 
Well, what, uh, what we are telling VMware customers today is, look, we've got the server thing handled. We announced that back uh, in the springtime. Um, going back to per socket pricing uh, for uh, VMware, guess what? Get virtual gets better now because you're not only uh, making um, a more economical server infrastructure buy in 3PAR, you're also you know, tamping down the, the VMware licensing um, that's going on. Right. So you've got a double a double. So bubble. good move, you know, you're happy about it, you can, you can play on that and, and okay. spin up more programs. <laughs> so right Craig, on. I want to ask you some, some controversial questions, obviously um, around some of the things that VMware did. For example, they just spent a billion dollars for Nasira. That caught everyone kind of by surprise. It's also software defined. Uh, data centers, the big message uh, Herod's out there talking mm -hmm. about that. Um, when we, we've done a couple of cubes with you guys and also your server guys on your server launches, you guys, it's not a new notion, software innovation within HP, within right. your converged infrastructure now, um, your enterprise group. We had Bethany Mayer on at mm. HP Discover. Yeah. Yeah. And, she was saying, you know, quite frankly, you guys are actually shipping OpenFlow in your products in the networking group. What's the conversation like inside HP right now? Because you guys have that converged organization, yeah, you, know, you know, starting way back when with 3Com, you've got some great story, great performance. Um, can you share with the group any, the internal kind of mindset right now within HP? I mean, I know you, don't, you can't really disclose specifics because you know, you've got messaging in public company, but give us an insight into what's the conversation. Well, I, yeah, I'll, I'll give you the, uh, uh, kind of my, my views, and you'd open the segment with, you know, talking about some management changes and, and Meg and all that, and you know, I, I haven't heard that in a while, and to be honest, the, uh, you know, the enterprise group, you know, we've been at it, same team for, you know, a couple of years or more now. Um, and I think we have, uh, you know, we've, we've been there long enough for engineers to, you know, run a couple of development cycles and, and we know that, you know, uh, enterprise infrastructure is about the software, whether it's networking or storage or, or server-based software provisioning or cloud, et cetera. And, you know, we see now that uh, those developments coming together and there isn't a day that uh, goes by where I'm not talking to um, uh, our, uh, our networking team, our server team, our management um, uh, software team. And uh, you know, I feel like if you are um, you know, running through you know, a day in the life with a storage guy, and he's not talking to you know, networking, servers, management, orchestration, um, but talking a converged infrastructure story, you've got to call BS, right? It, it's yeah. probably not happening. And I tell you, that's what's happening every day at HP. Oh, we got a little power problems with the lights here. Nice. But I, will, I will say though, I will give you guys props. I mean, you know, I want to just say you guys are well ahead of the pack. Obviously, VMware is now trying to play catch up. Uh, even IBM had a little separate storage organization. They're trying to get that back involved with Tivoli. We've covered some of the stuff they've been doing. So yeah. you guys do have a solid team. Obviously, Dave Donatelli uh, is a maverick at the top there. Um, great stuff. Now, getting back to some of the uh, emerging mark trends, right? We saw big data. Um, mm -hmm. We see that the Paul Moritz playing out the slides, pretty specific, old way PCs, existing apps, server, moving to mobile users, new apps, big data, and then cloud. Yep. Um, so we've been commenting with the advent of Flash that the on-premise migration to cloud just hasn't been there in, in flight that people had expected. People are tweaking their on-prem. So talk about the, the, the cloud, because you guys have a separate cloud mm -hmm. group. Yep. How does that affect you guys at uh, your enterprise group, or are they moving in, are they, well, I, I'll tell you kind of our focus on, on cloud. It, it revolves around really kind of three separate focus areas. One, you know, I, I, I kind of talk broadly about IT as a service, and you've got, you know, the guys doing that within their enterprise, they call it the private cloud guys delivering portal-based IT to their internal users. Um, and, you know, we, we are selling a lot of that, and, and, uh, and I think for sure that's the calling card of, of the three-par stuff. Um, the um, uh, IT as a service public cloud providers, very um, uh, 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 big focus there, great growth, again, great product fit. 
The, um, the third area is an area really led by what I'd call more uh, data-centric computing infrastructure, and this is the independent public clouds, you know, the long-tail data guys, very modular kind of infrastructure. And those guys are, uh, you know, that, that's the segment that we're really focusing on with these virtual storage appliances, right? A software-based approach to storage. If you think about you know, those three approaches, that's where our focus is when you talk about cloud in the enterprise group. So I was going to show you a screen here. Obviously, we, we, I tweeted earlier, go look at my tweet. I, I tweeted that we're going to be featuring some new technology from one of our stealth startups, um, a product called VFinder, not to be confused with anything related to VMware. But here's the conversations on, in the storage yep. vertical. So VMotion's popping up at the top, disaster recovery, replication, some of the usual suspects around some of the metadata. That's real-time top conversations. Mm -hmm. Of those keywords, which ones do you think are the most relevant right now that are most, the, the most uh, for you guys? Is it the VMotion? Mm -hmm. Is it the Stata in the cloud? Is it backup and recovery. You can Boy. see some of the conversations there. Yeah, it's, it's hard to pick one. I mean, um, backup, data backup, um, um, and backup recovery. I mean, the um, a part of what we see when we go talk to folks about their virtualization environment is how are you going to back it up? Mm, hadn't really thought about that yet. And when you do back it up, uh, how important is recovery? We've probably got the only uh, platform in the market that'll match recovery speeds with backup speeds. Um, I love the, uh, the vMotion um, uh, uh, conversation. Com conversation going. Part of uh, the storage challenge is, you know, you have physical storage arrays that hold your data, and when you, when you got to, you know, move virtual machines, you might have to move data with it, right? And so this, this uh, technology built around what we call storage federation, but think of it as, you know, vMotion for data from any server, any hypervisor, right? Uh, okay, big you, deal, big I deal. I want to ask you one final question, at least from my standpoint, I'll let Dave get his final question in. Sure. Um, because you have a unique perspective. You worked at HP, went out and did a startup with 3PAR, yeah. which is very aggressive, it's lean and mean, you guys, and then a great exit, now you're back in HP, great team, you know you're really happy there. But cloud storage is, is really hot right now. Mm -hmm. You're seeing everything from box.net, doing some stuff with the consumer, people down the credit card, to them dipping their toe into the enterprise, not being too successful, because um, there's some fear of data. You got other companies like Nirvana that are kicking butt, yep. and you have a variety of other different approaches yeah. um, to cloud storage. Um, as a startup guy and guy at HP and kind of with your experience, what do you, how do you see that world evolving? Um, is it going to be a pure play? Is it going to be one of those hybrid situations? How does yeah. cloud storage, how do you view so, that market? Yeah, so I, I have the um, quintessential answer, it depends, right? <laughs> it depends uh, how you're coming at the infrastructure. If you're coming at it from, you know, a you know, a, a, a Google, Amazon, and you've got a very modular kind of infrastructure, you're going to be very, what I call again, sort of data-centric computing infrastructure um, built around your, uh, your, uh, your servers, and you're going to drive basically advanced capabilities in through software, right? But uh, we look at the guys who are very strong in IT as a service, and um, uh, you know, the big public cloud guys like, uh, you know, AT&T and Terramark and Verizon and those guys, they are also, you know, moving in this, you know, kind of cloud direction. And, and so I think those guys are going to be an impetus to drive in you know, more, uh, more uh, uh, very efficient shared storage models. So, you know, it, it's going to depend and I think there's no, uh, you know, there's no uh, hard line between those two architectures and those two value sets. Awesome. Yeah, so, um, I know I don't see our next guest here, so I think we can keep going. I got one last question. So, you know, EMC had its symmetrics, you know, back in the 90s, and then NetApp with everything uh, waffle. I think they and still do. They still they, do, right, they still do. But it was like the platform, right? It was oh, everything, yeah. it was the Not flagship, anymore, right? Yeah. And so my question is, and then so NetApp, same thing, everything around waffle. Um, are those days gone? Are you, or, or is, for instance, could 3PAR become that be-all, end-all platform? Mm -hmm. Or is it more of saying. a converged infrastructure play yeah. that becomes that platform? So, what, do you, what do you see there? Yeah, so the days for the symmetrics are gone, right? <laughs> <laughs> so the big, and, and, uh, and in all seriousness, the big monolithic cache architecture at this show, really? No. Yeah, you think that, yeah, yeah not they happening. 4,000, David Flores said that's the last one we'll ever see, 40,000. It, yeah, it's, that um, doesn't disagreed, it, by the way. That, but of course that architecture, you know, was built before we knew about web browsers and smartphones and stuff like that, right? Um, given what is coming, flash architectures, big data, and these kinds of things, the, you know, the whole uh, discussion around convergence we're talking about, that dictates something new. 
um, and you know, built with the challenges in mind, right? So I think you know that stuff is is uh, you know uh, was good for what it was built for in the old days, but for uh, virtualization, for cloud, for multi-tenancy, you got to think differently. And I, I you know I think we've got. Um, an approach, at least at HP. I know the, there are others in the industry trying to trying to figure it out. But you know, you got to start with something um, that is considerate of these new challenges, right? It's a big inflection point, and we're in what 2012, 13. Um, over the next couple of years, I, I'm telling you, we haven't, haven't seen anything yet, right? Excellent. Well, Craig, thanks for coming on the queue. We love um, HP. We love working with you guys. I, I will say that I will say the software aspect of this new data center operating system was first on our radar with HP, HP Labs going back uh, to 2008. Yeah, right. You guys certainly had a lot of announcements, Moonshot and a variety of others on the server side as well as networking. So I think you guys are well ahead of the pack and hope to get the word out. And obviously VMware's following your uh, your path with the whole <laughs> you know abstract, pool and automate, which is code words for I operating will system. Quote you, uh, on you know. <laughs> so it, congratulations, VMware's HP, get the word out. You got uh, you got lightning in a bottle there, um, and congratulations, nice. great to have you. Okay, we're right back Thanks, with our next guest after yep. this uh, break. Thank you. you.